I got you stuck off the realness. I got you stuck off the realness. I got, I got, I got, I got you stuck off the realness. What's good, DC? I'm back with another DPS guide for beginners. And this one I'm gonna be covering Earth Precision DPS. This build is mostly for beginner players who just started out the game, don't have much money to invest into armories, don't have a lot of skill points or a lot of artifact rank. Don't sweat it, this build will get you through most of the content until you have enough resources to build your character to end game. This build also helps you out if you're just looking to make an alternate character and you want to try Earth out. This build will get you through all the content so that you do not feel like you're being carried by anybody. With that said, let's get into the build. First, I'm going to cover the Y socket mods for the gear. I'm using Blast Adapter for the weapon socket. The head socket, I'm using Critical Reinforce. Relentless Precision for the neck. Berserker for the back. The chest socket is important to use penetrating strikes. The legs and feet don't really matter and it's important to use max damage for your hand socket. Here's my stats. I only got 186,000 might and 125,000 precision. This is an alt character. It doesn't have a lot of stats. The main two artifacts is the strategist card and the transformation card. I use Venom Wrist Dispenser because this is an alt tune. Do not have a lot of stats and that helps me out a lot. Of course, it's a precision build, so you're going to want all precision, adaptive, and origin augments. Moving on to the generator mods in your base. Of course, we got precision at the bottom because it's a precision build. I tank on this tune, so I have dominance in the middle row. Eventually, I'll have all health at the top. I just haven't gotten to switch them yet. So again, this is an alt character. The only ally out of these three that I have here that I recommend is Crypto. He's a really good combat ally. You can rank him up quickly and he does a lot of damage for you. If you want support allies to make this build even stronger, any ally that gives you critical attack chance, critical attack damage is meta. So Blue Beetle is one of them. Static is another one. Every time you pop a supercharge and increases your critical ability and critical weapon chance, that is really good. And the third ally here would be um, Batman Who Laughs. Uh, he gives you a random buff card and one of these buffs is increasing your um, critical chance which is very good as well now moving on to the skill points you want to go into the weapons tree first and get all your martial arts abilities right here so that you can unlock the martial arts mastery then after that you want to go into the brawling unlock all the abilities at the top unlock the brawling mastery so that you can unlock the shuriken and storm mastery combo now, I recommend being super speed with this build. If you're not, it's going to be really slow. So with that said, you want to go into your super speed tree, unlock all these abilities because the main two you want to get is Whirling Dervish and Vortex Trap. Moving forward, we want to go into the Iconic Tree, get your Neo Venom boost. Don't worry about Hard Life Shield. I tank on this character. That's why I have that unlocked. Now, with the stat points, you want to go super powered, then get all your critical attack chance and critical attack damage. Anything left over goes into precision, and if you have skill points past that, goes into might. Now, the loadout from left to right, striking stones is the first, reinforced second, then comes whirling dervish, then vortex trap, neo venom boost, and crystal golem. Before I go on to the sparring target, if you're a beginner player, you need to practice how to clip your powers and how to clip cancel them. To clip cancel Whirling Dervish, right after you pop it, just go right back into your weapon combo. And then to clip cancel Vortex Trap, just jump. Here's a rotation on three sparring targets. And if you're a beginner player, do not get discouraged at clipping and clip canceling. The more you practice and get better at it, the faster your rotation will be. The faster your rotation is, the more numbers you will put out. I guarantee you, if you master clipping and clip canceling, you can beat players with 200 artifacts that don't really know how to clip cancel, and you can have the lowest stats possible. You'll be destroying them in numbers. I guarantee you it.
here's the same build same loadout on single target just to show y'all one build does it all again if you're a beginner player you don't have money to spend on armories you don't have a lot of skill points so weapon swap this build will get you through everything so you do not feel like you're being carried this build will get you through most of the game until you're ready you have enough skill points you have enough artifacts at 200 to run elite raids if you're a vet player just looking to make another alt character so you can grind dc cash man this build will get you a lot of dc cash with that said if you found this video informative leave a like and if you want to see more content like this consider subscribing to the channel I got you stuck off the realness. I got you stuck off the realness. I got, I got, I got, I got, I got you stuck off the realness.